Hello and welcome to the Scrabble channel. This is a quick little tech advice video for all of you guys who want to improve your PC gaming experience or even your regular internet browsing experience by lowering the ping in your games, improving the latency of your internet connection, and even increasing the download and upload speed of your internet connection. Now before I start off this video, I just want to give a quick little disclaimer in saying that this will either massively help your internet connection, make it slightly better, make it even slightly worse, or even make it much worse. I tried this method out on 5 friends of mine and only one of them had some serious issues with this, even saying that he couldn't even load up games or even load up Skype calls and stuff like that. However, one of my friends experienced enormous gains in internet speed as in League of Legends he was able to lower his ping from about 121 to 72 and increase his Steam download speed from about 3 megabytes per second up to 8 so that's a 5 megabyte increase in speed so this will either really help your internet connection or make it worse but either way I would still try this method because in this video I'll tell you how to revert these settings back to the default of your computer so either way it's not hard to try this so I would still just try out this method and see if it helps your internet connection but anyways as we go throughout this video make sure to go on to speedtest.net.com and record your base findings and then after all these methods go ahead and document speedtest.net again and see how this method changed your internet connection so the first method we're going to be performing is changing your DNS server. So by default, most of your internet connections will have a default DNS server provided by your ISP. However, these default DNS servers usually are really slow. So with this method, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to how to find a custom DNS server that has the best connection based upon your ISP. Anyways, in order to find the top DNS servers for your guys' internet connection, I want you guys to go ahead and open up DNS benchmark and go into name servers. Now it'll show you all of the DNS servers that are available for your connection and in order to find the one that's right for you, go ahead and click run benchmark. Now this will take a little bit of time, but overall it'll go ahead and find the fastest DNS server for you guys. So go ahead and just wait for the benchmark to run and then at the very end it should give you the top two DNS servers to choose from. So in order to find the top DNS server for you guys, if you see this top one that is marked in a big black box, just go ahead and ignore that and look at the two right below it. Those two DNS servers are going to be your fastest DNS servers to choose from. Now go ahead and remember those numbers and follow on this next step. Alright guys, so the first thing in order to change your DNS server is to go ahead and go into control panel, go on to network and internet and go down to view network status and tasks. And then go ahead and click on, on your home network, the local area connection link and then go ahead and click on properties and then right here where it says internet protocol version 4 click on it and then click properties and then right now for most of you guys who haven't changed your DNS server it'll go ahead and say obtain DNS server address automatically so I, I want you guys to go ahead and uncheck that and click on use the following DNS server address so once you have that based upon your two top DNS servers that you found from the DNS benchmark program you can go ahead and put in those two top ones and those two slots put your first one in the preferred dns server tab and put your second one in the alternate dns server tab once you're all done press ok press close press close again and then you're pretty much done within changing your dns now, method server. number two is just basically improving the efficiency of your internet connection so i want you guys to quickly imagine a hose and imagine just squinching it down and then having the full water of the hose coming out now just imagine opening that up and allowing all the water to flow through and that's basically what we're going to do with this quick little method we're basically just going to open up your internet connection to have no sort of restrictions whatsoever so we're going to be using the tcp optimizer program and we're going to go ahead and optimize now your internet this next connection. step we're going to go ahead and open up the tcp optimizer program now this is the easiest step out of the entire video it's really simple now first make sure you open up this application as the administrator because if you open it up regularly it will not apply the changes so as you can see right here with this tcp optimizer application right here on the connection speed tab i want you guys to go ahead and set the speed to whatever your your premier data speed is for your internet connection or what speedtest.net told you so let's say speedtest.net told you that you have 70 megabytes of speed and same goes for what you're paying for so go ahead and drag the bar to 70 megabytes let's say like around there going up in speed will not change the speed at all it will not make your internet speed any faster but still just make sure that you set this to the correct speed but anyways once you have that done right here on choose settings go ahead and click optimal apply changes okay and then in order to apply these changes you're going to have, you're going to have to anyways, restart I hope your you guys computer. enjoyed this quick little tech advice video like favorite subscribe all that good stuff and this is the Scarborough channel signing out